What's up? It's Kurt Hawkins, and I'm hanging with DJ Dells. DJ Dells, you know I love you. Vocal Pop Addicts, you see what we got? Wow, we have another one. This right here, you know what it is because you've seen the title, but if you notice, it says Gold Bloom Pop. I noticed that a lot of the packages had that. I think they did that just so there wasn't any kind of early reveals of FDCC. Kind of like what they did with Endgame. Like, you see the boxes here. They said Pajama Party. Just so no one would know exactly what's in the box until it was the right date for the employees to open it at the stores. So, you see what we got here? We have got the Red Chrome Vegeta. A few weeks ago, I did review the Silver Chrome Vegeta. And now we got the Comic-Con exclusive, the Red Chrome. So I'm really excited to give you a detailed look at this right here. Now, I know some of you are going to laugh in a second. And the reason why is I hate when you touch these damn things, how you get your fingerprints. So I am putting some rubber gloves on. <laughs> Hey, I do not want fingerprints on the pop. I want to take this out of the box. So bang that thumbs up button for the out of the box look and let's roll. So here he is out of the box. Looks awesome. Completely red chrome. And I am very happy to have this. I was able to score it online, which was great because I do not like going in the morning to wait for Funko Pops. I hate doing it. I mean... Sometimes it's okay if there's the right company, you know, you may have some really cool people and if that's the case, then it's an okay time, you know, talk about Funko Pops, maybe even make a trade or two, network a little bit, but a lot of times it kind of sucks, man, I'd rather be home, you know, I don't want to be at the mall before a store opens to get the exclusive and um, in this, ah. in this oh. Yeah, I almost caught a bad one with um, this stand right here. The peg is way too small for that hole right there. So be careful with that. You don't want this to drop because that paint is going to chip and that's going to suck. I mean, who wants a Chrome Funko Pop with a damn chip on it? That would absolutely be the worst. Uh, the paint is fantastic on this one, just like it was on the Silver Vegeta. Uh, the only time I've really seen the paint really bad was on the Star Wars ones. And also on some of the Walmart Thanos. It's interesting how there was like no hype for the Thanos Walmart edition. Is it because Walmart just doesn't get that credibility or something like that? I don't understand how there's no I don't understand how there was no hype on the Thanos pack with all the different chromes. Let me know what you think of the Funko Pop. Leave it in the comment box below. Did you pick it up? Did you pass? I've got more stuff coming in the next couple of days. So I'm excited to show you guys some more of the pickups from SDCC 2019. This is just a look at the box and um, check it out. Let me know if you picked it up. Leave your comments. Watch more videos here at the Dell Show. And also let me know how you feel about Chrome Pops in general. Are you tired of them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you eh? Leave it in the comments and let me know what you're looking to pick up too because I may be able to help you. Maybe someone that's reading the comments can help you. Let me know what's going on with you. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. And we out.